The magician will now attempt to dazzle us with a bit of close-up magic. As always, he shows that his hands are empty, but not for long. He reaches into his jacket and pulls out a paper president. This one is Jackson. Looks like an authentic, unrigged $20 bill. He crumples the bill, not exactly a federal offense, and then places it in his outstretched palm. Some conjuring and, yes, it looks like the bill is starting to move. Well, look at that. It's beginning to float. The magician is actually causing the bill to hover in mid-air between his hands. Now with some coaxing, it does a little dance. Then it floats straight up to his hand. He unfolds it, and there it is, wrinkled but unharmed, a genuine $20 bill. So how did the magician make the $20 bill float between his hands? The secret involves a super fine thread used by magicians that is virtually impossible to see. To show you exactly how he did it, the magician will now use a piece of white thread. Before the trick began, the magician took an ordinary roll of tape and attached the thread below the collar of his jacket. The thread runs up to the top of his head, and with more of that tape, is affixed to the back of the 20. This probably isn't what they had in mind when they advertised it as magic tape. Again, he's using white thread, which will show up for the cameras. You can see the thread dangling from his head as he crumples the 20. While he makes his magical gestures, he secretly hooks the thread with his thumb. The thumb acts as a fulcrum, or an improvised pulley, allowing the magician to raise and lower the bill depending upon how far away he moves his hand from the top of his head. The more slack he takes up, the closer to his hand the bill goes. By hooking the thread between his fingers, he can control the movement of the bill, making it look like it's dancing in midair. Here's how it looked with the very fine, invisible thread. And here is the same movement with the white thread. So that's how he makes the bill float. Sometimes it is done with wires.